So change the plan, guys. Cadbury factory. Psych. Apparently, permanently closed. Damn you, Mr. Cadbury Frog. So, um... Oh, an awesome place to come to in Tassie. Yeah, awesome place. Loads of, like, they had all the defected chocolate, where it was like, you know, oh, this one's cracked, so we'll sell it for, like, you know, a fraction of the price. It's pretty keen to, you know, spend all of my money and get a bunch of these little photo frogs. There's just orange uniform people in there now. Yeah, look at that. They're all eating their chocolate. Oh, well, here's what it is. And, um... On to the kebabs! kebabs. <laughs> yep. So, uh, today we are leaving this, uh, this camping spot. It's been pretty good. What's the name of this place? Knockwood Hill Nature Reserve Hobart. Oh, it's owned by a guy called Ian? Rob. Rob. Owned by, owned by a guy named Rob. And this is the, uh, the view from this spot. There's a spot further up, but it's, uh, not quite as nice, personally. But, um, quite a nice view. And, uh, this is where we play beer pong and stuff. So we're heading off, and this is what I gotta gotta go through. I got a rock on this side that's gonna be quite close, and a rock on the other side. So I really uh, nin ninja it in there when I got it in there. So we'll see how I go on the way out. This is Nay's uh, steering me process. You good? So we've come to the camp spot. This is the angle of the car. Check out how ridiculously close this is. And look at the caravan's wheels. This is what we have to do to turn. Look at the wheels. It's like pivoting on the spot. So we're getting some blueberries off the street, as we've noticed on our Facebook marketplace. Off the street as in like, there's a stall on the side <laughs> of the street, not just like on the side of the street. That was $6, we'll show you them when we get back because they're very tasty blueberries. Mm, they were. Um, um, now we're on this track, a very nice track. Oh, oh, sorry. Very nice track. And we're heading to a falls called Secret Falls. Mm -hmm. So it's either there's going to be a falls or there's not. A local told us that there's a bridge. And there should be a falls out there. So. And like a lookout where you can see them all, the falls. Yeah. But who knows, it might be so secret that it's, uh, you know. Doesn't exist. Not enough for like, oh. Is that it? I can kind of hear something actually. Yeah, I can hear something. Oh, it might be like right there. We've already been walking for a little bit. Oh look, there's a bridge. That's oh, a bridge. Right, I guess we're here. Uh, Not so secret of a falls. We'll see you soon. A nice, easy walk. I want to meter walk. It wasn't too bad. And we get to this. It's not too bad of a waterfall, but it's uh, not fantastic. It's a nice nah. rock formation. I like that. It's basically a nice walk in Hobart that's in nature. Yeah, it's not like, too savage. Yeah. We're looking forward to those next ones though. But it looks very lush. We're going to Silver Falls next and we'll show you that one. It's only a 200 meter walk, isn't it? Something nice and easy for Steph and Steve. Mmm, my damn meniscus hair. Oh. <laughs> How's Valentine's Day today? Mwah. Happy Valentine's Day. Yep. Are these are the blueberries. Mm -hmm. Six dollars for the box, and this is where the roadside is. It's number fifty-five, an old farm road. Definitely check it out if you're out this way in Hobart. There's some good ass blueberries. So this is the Falls Walk. It's quite nice. It's uh, it goes to the falls. And we recently found out that this is actually a bike track. It's called a pipeline track, I think. Yeah. Uh, it's pretty huge. So um, I think when we come back after Bruni Island, we'll probably ride along and this as well. And everywhere else. Go yeah, down all the other places. Because there's obviously a lot more to Hobart than we, we first thought. So we'll uh, yeah, we'll check it out. We'll show you the full. One thing that I absolutely love about Hobart is that there's city, and then there's like rainforesty stuff like this. And it's also so close. Like, how far is this from Hobart? 10 to 10 minutes, maybe? 10 to 15 minutes. And you can literally ride from here. Can, you can, can't you? You can ride you from here. You could find a path. Mainly a long path, a little bit of road, all the way. Because if you take it from here to the rivulet path, there's a rivulet path that goes all the way to Hobart. So there's like yeah. bike tracks everywhere. It's quite nice. I don't know if you got a bike track from here, though. We're pretty far away out in Mount Wellington. But there, there was that track that went, went on the road as well. No, there's a bus as well. Yeah. Yeah, there's. Oh yeah, there was this. Yeah, you there probably was. could find a park, I reckon you honestly. could. The only thing <laughs> so much that isn't great about Hobart so far is, oh my god, it's so goddamn hilly. Like the hill? <laughs> yeah. 
it's wherever ridiculous. you walk, it's a bill. But blessing occurs, because where there's hills, there is a, there's a lot of beauty. And a lot of water, a lot of lushness. So the way we came up was a 250 meter walk from a car park that's not very a car park. Or the other way you can come up is there's a road called Pillinger Drive, and it's a 1.2 kilometer walk to here. Mm. But that actually had that car park on the road. Yeah, it's like a proper sized car park. The place yeah. we were, it was like two cars can fit. Maybe three. And I was the third, so it was like, yeah. And then another car came and he was like, nah, and turned around. But this is a waterfall, check it out. It's pretty nice, but honestly, I think I'd, I'd rate the other one a bit higher, even though there was a lot less water. If the other one had more water, it has the potential to be a lot more beautiful because of the height. Like this is, this is quite nice, but the other one has that height to it, and obviously there's a lot more water here. We understand yeah. what all that water was coming off Mount Wellington now. Yeah, there was loads of... <laughs> that was close. Yeah! Whoa, that is very slippery. God damn it. So yeah, um, when we went up Mount Wellington with, um, Kaharal and Laura, there was loads of water pouring off Mount Wellington, like absolutely loads. And yeah, that's this is why. And actually, right now, it probably still is when we're heading up. We could see the Mount Wellington is just in a massive cloud, like for ages. This is why I'm glad I got one good leg. Hell yeah! That's the path. Look at it. That's a pretty cute path. Look at that path. Oh my god, adorable. Because of the path, look at that ass. Uh, oh, there's no slap. By the way, guys, this is our, uh, our camp spot we're staying today, tonight, for last night as well. And uh, Brett, the Belgian backpacker, <laughs> I love saying that. Uh, this is uh, this is where he recommended us. I think he's going to meet us here tonight, and we're going to go for a bit of a ride now on the good old unicycle and scooter, and explore Hobart a bit more than we already have. But how beautiful is this place? It's a, uh, it's pretty awesome. No, it's just a car park. I don't think you're allowed to camp here, but obviously we're self, self-contained and. I doubt anyone's gonna care. And uh, hopefully, unicycling doesn't hurt my knee too much. Check out this guy. He's on a railway track. Invented his own bike. So, probably helps having the BBFHP. Yeah. Wheels cut to the other line. He just put some extra wheels. How awesome is that? There's like unused railway all around this place. That works well. Yeah. Ah. The only thing is, I think when the uh, some of these tracks are like covered by dirt a bit, aren't they? Yeah, so I'm gonna have to stop and lift it up. I thought about having something so it would, the wheels come up. Oh, but that's sort of dangerous. Makes it really complicated. Yeah. Um, and then the width between them, I was gonna have another guide on that side, but the width sort of changes, so it sort of jam up. I didn't even know that. Yeah. Not much, like not enough. Yeah, yeah but train, enough to, but, yeah, enough to make a difference. Yeah. Um, so I want to go up like we're doing Valley. So I want to store like tents and stuff. Oh, that is so genius. That's great, uh, man. Do a little trip up there. Yeah. Yeah. So the train tracks go for ages, don't they? Yeah, and it's all just abandoned. Yeah, it kind of yeah. sucks that they're abandoned. I mean, I guess it's good. Yeah. No, no, <laughs> I have to worry about an <laughs> oncoming train. <laughs> yeah. It'd be so easy just to get really relaxed and like forget about roads. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> It's so easy, like, all I gotta do is worry about pedaling, like, I keep, like, going to turn, like, oh, I don't need to do anything. <laughs> you don't have a throttle on it? Um, yeah, I do. But, um, Just cruise control it and fall asleep. Quick. Yeah. That's so cool. This is the city centre of Hobart, and check it out, it's pretty cool. It's like a, all closed off and such. Everything you could ever want on Valentine's Day. So we ditched this scooter and the unicycle. We uh, hid it in some bushes with my jumper because it's damn hot. And we uh, hiked up there. What was the name of this uh, waterfall? Gentle Annie. Gentle Annie, that's the one. So good names. So uh, check it out. It's not a waterfall anymore. It was piped. I mean, it is piped. It was and currently is still piped. It's like a little waterfall and then into a drain thing and it's piped down. But uh, it's a pretty good view from here. You can probably see. Probably. Yeah. There's a like another fence thingy up there. So we're gonna try and commit to that. Oh she's already committing. 
Oh my god, we made it. From this point you can ride? Yeah. Oh, you can too. Because this is the track that um goes like all the way into like, goes to like for, towards Mount Wellington, doesn't it? Go the way, yeah. And past it? I don't know, it goes... No, just the path that we were at this morning where the waterfall was. Yeah, so a nice, uh, nice park. Easy ride, apparently. Yeah, probably from here. But obviously that's a shite load of stairs. So I don't know how the hell you get your bike here. No dogs past this point. Well, I guess you just go from Wellington Park where we were this morning. To Come this to here point, and then and go then back. Then yeah. It's so close where we're staying though. We're staying like just, just, down, there. just down there somewhere. <laughs> Not that far at all. Check out the view though. It's beautiful. We know why it's called Pipeline now. Yeah, they just pipeline the whole thing. Like this, this would be, cool. this would actually be awesome to come here when it was raining. So you can probably see the pipe down there, and it just goes all the way, all the way through. And they have the open bits that go down and then go into like you can look at that cut into the rock. Amazing. And it goes straight into like a little drain. And there's a pipe over there. Oh yeah, that's one of the pipes. That's probably the one that comes out. I've got them out. Maybe that was a broken one. Yeah, it just goes all the way down to the uh, quarries and <laughs> what are they called? Dams. Reservoir. Reservoirs. Yeah. And there's an upper and a lower. There's a lot more things in Hobart than you think. Yeah, yeah. There's got to escape out of the city. But consistently, there's hills. There's definitely consistently hills. Wherever you go. And you can see, like, look at the dis in the distance. It's just like hills and hills and hills and hills. And houses. Hills and houses. Yeah, fairly nice people. It's a pretty good place, though. We saw our first, um, where did we go? Lincraft, was it? Lincraft? Yeah. yeah. Went to Lincraft oh, and like it was three stories, technically four, because one of them was like a split level, but uh, incredible. Yeah, they have a lift in there. Blue well, I eye. even said to Devin, I'm like, wow, this is a small in or spotlight. Yeah, but it's just... And just kept going. Oh, it was a spotlight, wasn't it? Yeah. yeah. Spotlight. So we bought the, uh, the dye for the carpet. Yes, it's going to look stop looking white and we'll shitty. I'm just going to do it when we get home. Well, that's a good point. I want to get all of my feet. Yeah. We'll figure it out. It's going to be dyed soon, though. And then sexy, sexy caravan vibes, if you know what I mean. Good old Valentine's See Day. You know, Look at this sexy man in jammer. It's so cut in. It's awesome. Cut straight down into the pipe. On its way straight down to the reservoir. So cool. Love it. And yeah, the place we've parked, it's so nice. It's like both sides just have um it's got just like forest and stuff. And perfect space for the caravan. I like it. Thank you, Brett, for showing me. It's a cool place. In Australia, mainland, everyone has their own pergola, but in here, you can share them. You can just share them around. There's loads of uh, like little pergolaed areas with barbecues. And, um, not. It's like, how many do you reckon there's been in this place? Yeah, it's so nice. They're like not fire, they're like... Electric? Electric? Yeah. It says it's ready, preheat, preheat and steril sterilize. Oh, that's pretty cool. You definitely have like a party. That's so nice. There's loads. And there's heaps of this. And the way it just like goes out on the deck to the um to the nice view. There there's how many do you reckon these things are there along here, along this thing? Like six? Do you reckon it's six six or so? It's a lot. Yeah, what what's the name of this reservoir? I don't know. We'll check it. Because um yeah, we camped like just up there in like a little uh sort of farish away uh like five minutes away, it's not too bad. Maybe not even five minutes. Very close. Alright, now we'll be back with the uh, findings of the name of this place. It is the Waterworks Reserve. Check it out, this is where it is on the map. Zoom out. Show us Hobart. That's just there. And where are we staying? Huh? Yeah, I think that's where. Where is it? No, it's further up. It's further away. Oof, I don't know. It's not far though. It's pretty close to there. I think it's there. Somewhere like that. Yeah, it's a beautiful area. I recommend it. If you can Which obviously, if we can, you can do. Hey guys, so I hope you liked the video. It was, um, it's Hobart. And Hobart's pretty damn awesome. We're definitely gonna have to go back there after Bruni Island. But now we are onto Bruni Island. This is the neck you're seeing right now. Bruni Island is pretty damn dope. So uh, check it out and see all the potential wheelies. Catch you guys then.